Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we're here with episode 12 of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In the previous episode, we've been making our way towards the Nilk Guardian connection, so we came from Mulberry Dale and started making our way north, but then we're offset by a couple of side quests, one being funeral pyres, which had a priest of the eternal light, I think is what he was called, who asked us to go to these various sites and burn bodies that had been left exposed to the elements, which, you know, seemed like a fair enough thing until one of them ended up being alive and telling and told us that he was just trying to get rid of his old accomplices who he'd been selling um, this tech to, I think, is what was going on with that. So we went back and confronted him and, yeah, didn't end too well for him, let's just go to say that. Uh, we also did a mission called At the Mercy of Strangers, which was an unmarked quest which had us saving a guy who had been basically tied up and left to the drowners. So we saved him, although it obviously it was quite elusive about why he'd actually been left there, so that's sort of like a mystery on its own. Uh, we saved the person in distress at this little site over here, and finally we were offered the ability to get some fake papers for when we decided to cross into Navigrad, I think. But to manage to get a discount after we helped out his brother-in-law fight off some ghouls as he and his mates went looting bodies. So anyway, um, what I've done off screen is I made my way over to Linden Vale. Uh, this is because it's one of the closest places that actually has a blacksmith so I got all my weapons repaired and that. And also sold off a lot of junk that I wanted to get rid of. And so I just made my way back to this site which is where the last couple of uh, quests were then. So we can check out the notice board, which we failed to do last time. So setting up, we have food rations. All refugees have to report to the quartermaster. He will distribute food ration cards. You shall entitle the bearer to one meal per day. Commander Hubert Rodin. Kind of harsh. Missing. Uh, Georgie Lessig. Georgie Lessig, if you make it to this camp, be sure to leave a message. I don't know how much longer I'll stay, but perhaps we'll meet. Don't look for your da. He's dead. Make yourself known, son. Mum. Oh. Family missing. Name is Bert Smith, born in Meadtown, Meadton, in Lower Tamaria. Looking for my family, we got separated our way north. The were the enemy the enemy lurks within. Yesterday evening we discovered Nilfgaardian soldiers hiding in the camp. They were clad in civilian attire, pretending to be refugees. The camp commander asks vigilance of all of us. Be wary of your neighbour and keep an eye on him. If you notice anything suspicious, report it at once. Hiding Imperial soldiers will be harshly punished. Plague danger. Due to the possibility of an outbreak of plague, this Transit camp commander has ordered refugees to take daily baths, wash yourselves people, it's for your own good. Contract woodland beast, let the following be known far and wide. There's some monster in the woods outside Novigrad doing great damage to our war effort. Anyone who tracks it down and kills it will not only fulfil a patriotic duty and bring the inevitable victory of the United Northern Forces under the leadership of our brave King Redovid one step closer, but will also get a sizable coin reward as recompen recompense for his trouble. Together onward to victory, Captain Felix Grubb. Adenum notes the reward has not yet been claimed. Adenum, attention, if the monster is not killed by the end of the present month, the taxes for the entire region will be raised by one fifth. Oh, great. <laughs> that sounds nice. Okay, is that the only quest we picked up from that one? Uh, it looks to be. Okay, let's have a look at that then. Um. Hmm. So, where's that one? Uh, oh, he's actually right next to us. Okay. Touch the commander of the gang post by the bridge in Navigrad. Alright, let's do that while we're here. Hello. Huh? What do you want? Hear about the notice. Got monster trouble? Trouble? <laughs> Good one. We're not having trouble. We're up shit fucking creek. <laughs> Some shaggy fuck knows what sitting in the woods attacking every plow and transport that dares take the high road. When he rides the boats, arrows, rations, all around, fucked. Send a patrol out. Looks never came back. Well, that's what we so do best. Job simple. Bring me that fucker's head. And I'll give you gold. As much as the notice says. I'm not gonna haggle. Quartermaster won't budge. But I can throw in a pass that'll get you to cross the Pontar. So, deal? Sounds fair. See what I can do. Okay, because I'm going to decide what the transport was to take using your witcher senses. Uh, that's all the way up the road. 
Don't get in my face, dude. Alright. Oh dear. Right. We might as well look into it. Uh, it's not too far away at the very least. I think 300 meters would seem far on foot, but with Roach we'll be over there in a jiffy. Now I'm actually going to head up to the uh, new market entrance. What the hell? Is that like a camp or a cave or something? Uh, we actually stick to this northern road, I think heading towards... Might actually pass this one actually. Uh, there was actually a quest on the way. Because my initial search took me to actually where the North County Connection starts in search for a blacksmith. Um, but there was none there, so I don't run past. Alright. What's going on here? Come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. When did you last eat? A week back. Half a charred squirrel and a handful of berries. Hmm. Here, be sure to share it with the others. Thank you. Here, for you, for your kindness. That was nice. Is that it? Some might quest or something. No. Uh -huh. Okay. Right, Ferdus. Right. Okay. Uh, keep an eye on kids. Don't worry about it. We got a new book there, didn't we? Let's have a look at that. Uh, inventory. And down here, so we have in beast clothing. They entered this hut and began to search. First, they tore through his bed, dried twigs, covered the sheet. That was his first proof. For werewolves return at dawn after a night of hunting, their bare feet covered in the forest droppings. They found the second proof onto his bed, a wolf's hide. The wolf suddenly dressed himself in it when transforming with the setting sun, and shed it again when he turned to man the next day. When they found these powerful proofs, they ceased deliberation and began to hunt began the hunt, I want to find the lycanthrope and bind him in silver chains. Okay, fair dues. So now we know about werewolves. Interesting. Okay, and we're just about at the site too. Oof, Whoa. oof, the doing. Okay. Let's have a look. Algols. Oh, no, you don't. Have they actually seen Al Ghul since uh, The Witcher 1? I don't remember them showing up at all in uh, Witcher 2. Okay. Interesting. That wasn't the contract, was it? Claude and Nod. Necrophage is fed here. But all the wounds they inflicted are post-mortem. Hmm. Looted bear. Either someone stole the cargo after the monster attack, or our monster collects military paraphernalia. Yeah. Claude Dirt. and Nod. Necrophage is fed here. But all the wounds they inflicted are post-mortem. Claude and Nod. Those is the same. Necrophage is fed here. But all the wounds they inflicted are post-mortem. Look like claw marks, but here, an arrow. Shaft's broken off right at the skin. Hmm. Footprints. A survivor? Either that or the monster's a humanoid. Uh, where are the footprints? Something's fishy here. I should follow these tracks. Yeah, that's what I was getting. Again, I don't think this is a beast. I think this is another one of those occasions, like the, the guy who we saw next to the swamp, and it was like, oh yeah, the beast attacked me, and I was like, nope, you did. Uh, okay, oh, okay, we're heading in this way then. Ah. 
There we go. I've got a trail. Hmm. I want to look around some. Trail. Oh my god. Stench. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh boy, I don't think we're making it out of that land. That was a tricky one. Whoa, what's all this? Hmm. Oh. Ah, there's the footprints. This must be old news by now. Oh. One step more, and you'll gain a new hole in your Let's head, you Juan. What do you seek here? Speak! Need to talk to your commander. It's important. I don't trust you. Figured as much when I saw your bow aimed at me. Still have me in your sight. And I'm just not prone to doing stupid things. I can assure you of that. I'll be assured when you hand me your weapons. Come on, your swords. Drop them. And I'll take you to Venosio. Uh... Fine. Lead the way. I'd better get him back. Do you realize how long it took me to <laughs> gather the ingredients to craft those salts? That gun. Strange. No monsters trouble us. Might not trouble you, but the Redanians are convinced something prowls these woods. Hired me to kill it. Well, they're mistaken. It's not the first time. There's no monster here. Your work is done. This isn't a game. Men have died. Soldiers have died. Radovid soldiers, serving a man who torments the Enshe from the Great Sea to the Blue Mountains. Soldiers who joined in massacres, tortured our brothers, raped our sisters. I shan't cry for them. And we'll not stop attacking those transports. We must eat, same as you. So you've a choice. Leave now and forget what you've seen. Or die. <sighs> really gonna make me do this, aren't you? You really make me do this. Uh... That sense of moral superiority? Tiresome and wrong. Your common bandits. Is that so? Then we shall treat you as common bandits would. Defender that girl. Okay, and now I don't have a sword. Um, I don't know. This, this isn't going to go too well, is it? Um. Oh, okay. This is probably a mistake, wasn't it? Come on. I just need the spell back. Ow. Oh, Jesus. Right, that's 
of the leader taken care of. Oh dear. Okay, this goon is going to need to stop soon. Oh, sugar. Straight up, you have to admit, it's pretty freaking good that I've managed to take on all those guys with just my fists. <laughs> Thank you, I'll take all that back. Okay. Uh, is that everything? got a ton of stuff there so let's just make sure that we've uh, got our right thing equipped. So first of all, Viper Sword please. Uh, Viper Sword. Guess it's not taking up any of those has it? Crossbow. Is that rotten flesh? Apparently that's a quest item, don't know why. Okay. Uh, what happened to the quest there? So, uh, yep, yeah, must be right, right. I think. Okay. Come on, Roach. Come on. All right. Well, let's go and return that contract. I am actually really impressed with myself that I managed to. To do that, I thought as soon as I said it, and it was like, oh yeah, no, this is, this is a mistake. <laughs> like, I, I don't know whether the, the game was expecting me to just basically call them bandits to the face when I was completely unarmed, or or what the situation is with that. And I don't even know if that was the right decision to make, but you know, I mean. Throughout the past two games, I have been firmly anti Scoia'tael. In the same way, and I keep making reference to this, I think this is the first time I'm bringing it up in this game, but in the same way that I was against the Stormcloaks in Skyrim, basically because whilst they go, are, go. there are definitely issues, as, as she mentioned, with the people who were attacking her, they're not all guilty. And both the Skytel and the Stormcloak seem to have a very solid idea. Obviously in Skyrim it's more in reference to elves, but then I'm saying that all elves are Thalma when not Thalma, uh is it Thalmor, I think that's what they're called. But obviously they're not in the same case the Skytel think all humans are evil when they're not. So they're always gonna sort of go for the lesser evil, I suppose. You're back finally. Did you get the beast? No beast to speak of in the woods. Just elves from a square tail band that attacked the convoys. Here, they're squirrel tails. Squirrel tail, you say? Mm. And I thought we'd exterminated the last of those vermin. And the non-humans left it wised up. Well, seems we'll need to pacify them again. Make a list of all the long ears around and hang every tenth one. That should do it. Yeah. No. Definitely. I see we're of a mind on this. You're a good man. Here, the gold I promised you. And the pass. Good luck. We don't even need the pass, but there we go. But we have two. There seems to be more signs up. Okay. 
Does she have to die? The regiment commander is just all refugees staying in the home not to wander outside this grounds after dark. Hostilities continue in the surrounding region, and Redanian guards shall treat anyone encountered outside the camp after dark as an enemy. Camp guard. The commander of the Redanian regiment is organising a camp guard. Anyone wanting to help keep the peace in the camp should report to the quartermaster at once. Volunteers will receive weapons to use during this time of service, as well as the gratitude from our gracious ruler, King Red of the Fifth. Help good people. Is there a drop to drink in this shithole of a camp? I've crossed half the world, or maybe even the whole dumb thing, and I've never been in a place as dry. It's enough to drive a man to violence. If anyone's got some hooch hidden away, let them call my name. <laughs> oh, Dren. Like that. I'll finally put together a grand old time. Up an old campaigner before he turns as parched as a rain bucket in a desert. This is going to be like eluding us the entire game. Or just like Audrin's narrated adventures. After the riots, in light of yesterday's incident at the conflict between men from Edirne and Tamaria that caused it, refugees are hereby ordered to separate the groups based on country of origin. Whoever fails to heed this will be banished from the camp. Commander Hubert Roden. Burying the dead, the camp commanders ordered that the dead be buried only designated burial sites. Burying bodies near the transit camp might contribute to the spread of plague. Any bodies buried in an unallotted ground will be exhumed and cremated. Right. I'll have a look if that, uh, what, what he gave me is the same as what the other dude did. I can't even read it. Yeah, that's the transit pass we got from... I don't know. Okay, so do, do those um, notices keep respawning then? I know it's not started by any new quest, but I do obviously want to read all of them because it's interesting to to see. But, I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Anywho, um, let's just carry on our journey to see well, wherever this North Guardian connection thing is leading to. Because there's been the only one we've gone out of our way to find is uh, in the what, what was it? The, the Southern Strangers? I keep forgetting it's gold. At the mercy of strangers, because that one is missable. Whereas the rest of them has just been sort of like, oh, here's a quest on the road to our next objective, let's do it. And then it's like, oh, go, oh, oh, miles away again, never mind. <laughs> okay, I think it's just a little village up ahead. So it should be there now. Okay, just wait for Roach to get her stone back. I did look it up. Roach is a female, so apologies for misgendering her this entire way so far. Slow now. Whoa. Roach is a lassie, so we shall treat her with respect. Okay, that right. We've got any connection. Okay. What are we doing? Bruno. Who is Bruno? Hello, Bruno. Simple folk. We seek no quarrel. Okie dokie, Bruno. Don't worry about it. I have no quarrel with people like you. Right, I'll speak to the innkeeper in a second. Pour me another, love. You've had enough. No wench will ration my vodka. Poor damn it. Why ye taste the back of me hand? What do ye want? You, Hendrik. No. Not a with that un. It'll bring trouble. Who rules this land now? Baron does. By whose decree? Temerian or Nilfgaardian? By his own. War's on. You got the men, you take the land. Why are you so curious, eh? So long. High time we went home. We'll Go once I've drunk. <laughs> Mate, I think you're plastered. Got some questions. Uh huh. Yeah. So long. Hi. Will. Okay. Well then, I assume all we have to do is talk to the innkeeper. Looking for a man goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him? What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. <laughs> That ain't no bottle. What's going on out 
out there. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Got company. Who is it? In Cape Vodka. Who's this? A brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Oh, you use that to find out. Prick in his trousers too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Here we go. I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters, the other for humans. Only got one prick though, in case you're <laughs> wondering about that too. Don't touch him. Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that lost. Saw one in action once. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. Freak didn't even show a drop of sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want to rest, come with me. On the bench you can use. Oh boy. And there's the bumpkin with what looks like a shot. You stink of dead men. Get out. Your pale as oak. If it's human speech, you don't understand. Uh, 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 I want to kick them. I want to kick their asses. Oh, what are you announced for? Have you any idea what the Baron will do when he learns of this butchery? What just happened? The village! He'll tear it apart before anyone can say it was some wandering mutant done it. An iron fist he's got! Where's Hendrik? You deaf? Understand what I'm saying? Baron won't let this stand! Calm down. What the, the hell just happened? No idiot. Seriously doubt he'll think you locals cut his men down with farming implements. Now where's Hendrik? Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Go out the back. More of the Baron's men in the village. No need to worry about me. I'd rather you not make any more trouble for yourself for us both. Um, ugly bastard. What the hell? You said nothing. I don't. I, I don't understand why they got all up in my in my face. But like, you can. Uh, I'm gonna have to look that up. Like they're all fine drinking beer, and then all of a sudden they're in they're in a state. Hmm. Greetings. Bloody Baron. How'd he get that moniker? There a story to it? A time ago, when he was still in the army, some blackens had holed up in a dye works. Baron and his men were ordered to take it. Others might have bided their time, starved him out. But the Baron's an hasty one. Attacked straight away. The blackens surrendered. Baron and his men took most of them alive. But one of his blokes knocked over a vat of red dye. It all ran into the river. <laughs> Folk took to saying that the river flowed red with blood. Uh, that the Baron had slaughtered his prisoners to a man. Been known as the Bloody Baron ever since. Kind of ironic. Well, a week before, he'd massacred a whole squadron in Ingholm. But far fewer heard that story. Baron's not from around here, right? He's Tamarian, but from other parts. Folk say he deserted along with his country. Showed up here one day with his stragglers. They'd all had enough of the wandering. So they took the old lord's castle, and the Baron became master of Crow's Perch. 
Reckon once the Blackmans feel sure they hold the land, they'll let him keep Crow's Perch. Give him a true title. Wouldn't mind a drink. Show me what you got. Hmm. Oh, he's got quaint cards. Okay, let's buy those up. Uh, Commander's Horn, Siege Engineer, Impera Brigade Guard, Nosca Cavalry Rider, and Emir Van Embris. Alright. Sweet. Uh, just get rid of those markers. It's very annoying. Thanks. Farewell. Farewell. Okay, there's no one else in here, is there? Oh, just Bruno. Okay. Just don't know, end up missing any Gwen plays or anything. Uh, can we have a look at the. No. Uh, that book. By the Gwen cards. We've got 36 in Velen. Okay. Oh, well, fine. Alright. Oh, oh. Everyone's just trying to get a piece of gout today. Ain't gonna end well for them, if you catch my drift. Right, can I, no, no. Okay, well, at least that's Roach. Excuse me. Is it Roach? It is Roach. Good girl. Okay, got another notice board. Oh, what's that? Can you calm down, girl? Warning, good folk, if you see any wonders hanging in the woods, such as treats fit for your time, I think we've already read that, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, I've read that one. Not only would the screams carry along, shadows creep far in deep dark dale, the way ye then the gross world song or in the wild will end your tale. Not sure if you've read that one. Because he has informed every man with a producing milch cow is obliged to bring it to crow's perch before for the week's end. After that we'll find a cow in any man's yard. We'll give him 50 lashes on the spot, the man, not the cow, and take all the goods of his we can carry. Anyone reporting a man hiding a cow will get a second greatest reward, Sergeant Sardal. Missing Mikkel. My true born brother Mikkel is missing. Anyone who finds him or at least finds out what fate has met him will be generously rewarded and I'll send a good word to the Baron about you as well. You'll find me at the inn at the crossroads, Bruno. Okay, so that's Bruno, isn't it? Uh, kind folk, for lack of better fur, I fed my youngest punk. It's made a grown egg card. Uh, you've already read that one as well, haven't we? Okay. Uh, well, that's locked. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll talk to Bruno next time then. Another contract. Uh, anything to pick up in here? No, I don't like it. I think we've done everything in the village by the by Bruno. There's lots as well, okay. Um, yeah, okay, that's fair enough. So we'll, um, we'll do that next time. It's Bruno, yeah. Okay, um, let's have a look through the glossary. We've definitely picked some stuff for the beast here, haven't we? So cursed ones, we've got Ilfedin. Ilf Ilfedin, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, apologies if not. Werewolves, necrophages, we've got Al Ghouls. Okay, no need to do I shouldn't have thought. Characters. Nope. Books. Uh, got your beast clothing. Crafting, nothing new there. Alchemy, nothing new there. Inventory. A lot of crap, obviously, as per usual. Though it'll star it every time I pick anything up. Uh, yeah, we already read that. Hang on. Still can't. I'd like to be able to read that, but that's fine. Uh, world map. So obviously we've come to the end of the crossroads. Other than that, we've not really been to anywhere new. Oh, I'm gonna know. Yeah, we went to the bandit camp, which was the Skyatel camp. Uh, quests. So progress through the North Guardian connection and secondary quests. Um, 
Bang on. So we started with Mr. 33. Jesus Christ. Okay, we might have to put that off then. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see. Contract Woodland Beast. I think that's it. Yeah. But that's all good. Let's just uh, meditate till midday. So all of our stats are back at peak. I think they've not, still not leveled up. Right. Leveling up is very slow in this game. So let's uh, save the game there. Cool. Okay, so that's what we're going to end for today. We may or may not be doing Bruno's quest next time. Obviously, it's a very high level, so it might be a bad idea. I might have to look into that. Um, but other than that, I think we'll just carry on the road uh, to look for Hendrik. I think that's probably what we're going to be uh, doing for... At least a little while now, try and get that quest finished. But before I wrap up, let me take a second to thank my amazing patrons, my five Pampas patrons are Ron Hyler and Ever the Snake. You can find links to their channels as well as my other three Pampas patrons in the description down below. And on screen you'll see a credit to my one Pampas patrons. Thank you so much everyone, it's truly appreciated and it goes a long way to help with the channel, so I do thank you a lot for that. And if you wish to join those patrons, you can find a link in the description down below to my Patreon page. But you don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and also be sure to share the video. I'll see you guys in episode 13. Everything changes. Bye.